It took me months to close the first deal and almost two years to reach a break-even point for my company. Now the things are different. Sales is aggressive. We are chartering unexplored areas, thus achieving great results. I would like to share with you all in this evening some things I have learned during this journey, along with some tips I have along with them. I know most of the those masters here are all, already holding a master's degree in this uh, home, but for the benefit of others. Develop a strong level of self-confidence and positive attitude. Believe in yourself and your product. Know your product well. If you can't convince the customer that uh, it is really relevant for him, you cannot sell the product. You have to prepare quotations sooner and faster and you have to ask for questions if the inquiry is not clear. I know many suppliers when I follow up with them, asking them, where is my quotation? They are telling, no, why you need more information before? And why you didn't ask me? <laughs> it's not just an excuse to delay the call. If you need more time, just inform them that you are waiting for so and so, and you need more time to process the call. Organize your inquiries, prioritize them, and ask for more information as required. Then the next most important thing is follow-up. The recent research statistics showed interesting results. 48% of salespeople does not follow up on their prospects. Only 25% make a second contact and then they stop. Only 12% make a third contact with a potential client. And hardly 10 percentage make more than four contacts with a potential client. And the results are interesting. Only two percentage of sales is done on the first contact. Three percentage on the second contact. Five percentage on the third contact. Ten percentage on the fourth contact. And more than 80 percentage of sales happen between the fifth and twelfth contact with the, with the client. So which means only a 10 percentage of sales people are doing almost 80 percentage of the sales and the remaining 90 percent losing out on these prospects. And if you still, you know, if you are not able to do a sales so even after the joint contact, there is some serious problem with your product or either the customer doesn't have a requirement. You should focus on the positive of your product than telling about the negatives of the competition. There are many other competitors who are there to tell bad about each other. But it's only you who can convince the customer with the positives of your product. Last but not the least is the after sales service and customer support. According to leading speaker and coach Patricia Fritz, you are not closing a deal. Actually, you are opening a relationship. You have to nurture that relationship to be mutually beneficial. Now that we have gone through the key aspects, there are some tools which you can help or fine tune the, this one. It's like uh, perhaps a cold board where you should be energetic, enthusiastic. You should do a proper research before making a call. You should give a specific date or time to have a meeting. Just don't tell, I will meet you next week. This next week will never come. Instead you ask him, I shall I meet you next Monday, 11 a.m. Either he has to tell that yes or no. Or if he is busy on that particular time, he has to give another date or time so that he can meet. Then another thing is cold emails, where I have 
the lot of 500 contacts I will put in the two fields or either in the BCC field. Instead, take some time, find your potential customers, send them individual email, address it with a surname. There are 80 percent more chance that your email is correct than it is addressed with a surname. And make your first two lines very interesting. If you cannot grab the attention of the reader in the first two lines, probably your email will be missed. So the solution is ask a question or add a value. Like save your energy bill. How can you do that? The client is interested or he has some interest to read on the remaining of the email. Again, all of you have to do it in the right person. Arrange it with the proper timing. You should have a proper plan to, to do the follow-up. And also another important aspect in this is negotiation. You should understand the other party well to have a proper negotiation. You should think on his shoes. Why he is objecting to what you are proposing. You should not make solutions, you should make options. You should have at least three options ready before going into any negotiation. The number of times I taxi is directly proportional to the number of financial sales. A person who hasn't paid, a person who hasn't paid has not tried anything new. So keep trying. Nothing succeeds like success. Success in sales is the result of discipline, dedication and sacrifice.